Adam Szymanski doesn't deny he parked in a no parking zone. I mean, yeah, I was like five feet in the zone. The new signs had been up for a couple weeks, but he says he couldn't resist since the no parking rule made no sense. He woke up to a $95 oh, ticket. There's no parking 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. on school days. Every time I call into the city, they, they tell me the same thing. You know, I've talked to the Bureau of Transportation and the city themselves, and they say, well, we needed to move the bus stop because of the homeless population. Okay, well, the buses aren't stopping here. They're still stopping up there. A Portland Bureau of Transportation spokesperson says the no parking zone was put in because a school bus stop had to be moved. Parents had complained their kids were getting picked up and dropped off next to a homeless camp. But Szymanski says he's been watching and that's not the case. Video shot on his phone and video we shot today shows the school buses stopping in all sorts of places, but not in the no parking zone. If they're actually using the zone, that's something different. but. I haven't seen a single bus stop here in over a month since these signs went up. The director of transportation for the Reynolds School District says there has actually not been any changes to bus stops in the recent months, leaving Szymanski to wonder why he and his neighbors can't park in front of their homes. So why doesn't the city do that? <laughs> why do they have to take away all of our parking here? There's two cul-de-sacs right back here. They could easily just pull in, pick them up, make a U-turn and leave. A spokesperson for Peabot says more communication with the school district may be needed. In the meantime, he says there are plenty of other spots on this street and nearby that Szymanski can park in. Back to you.